Hey guys, um, it's me, Rain, and it's my little kitty, Lefko, and he says hi. Hello, oh, ugh, he doesn't want to be in the video. Okay, I'm just gonna let him go. So, I have a Photoshop tutorial for you guys today, and I was just thinking, what is one thing that I always use whenever I'm editing pictures? And it's Dodge and Burn, which I kind of like to call it, um... Enhance the shadows and the highlights, like make the shadows deeper and the highlights lighter. Um, and I don't usually even use the actual dodge and burn, I use curves, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do. And this is especially great for people that don't have a full frame camera because um, most of the time you might kind of notice that your pictures are looking kind of flat. It doesn't have that same depth of feel that the full frame camera has. So yeah, this is gonna make your pictures look so much more alive, like in real life, so much more 3D. and. Yeah, it, it's an amazing tool. When I discovered it about maybe a year ago, so it's not been that long since I've been using this technique, but it's amazing. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. Keep watching. Okay, so we're in Photoshop right now. Yay! Um, I use Photoshop CS6. If you don't have CS6, it's alright. You can use any older version. It's gonna have still the same things I'm gonna be using today. So as I said previously, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be shadowing the shadows and highlighting the highlights and for that I'm going to be using curves so the first thing that we're going to do to our picture is we're going to duplicate the layer so if you go to your background right here you're just gonna right click on it and you're gonna press duplicate layer and you're gonna press OK right over here so we created the duplicate layer so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into image right here Gonna go to adjustments, curves. All right. So I like to start with my shadows. So we're gonna be darkening the picture right now. So this is our curve, and we're gonna be working on the lower part of it, just right over here. And we're gonna be just dragging it down just a little bit, just about right here. Okay. We're gonna press OK. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna press this little button over here. All right, and it adds the layer mask. And simple words, we're going to be putting all these things that we just did, which is darkening the picture, into a brush. Alright, so after you uh, click the layer mask, it's white over here. So we're going to press Ctrl I, okay, and it becomes black. And you see right away that the picture turns back into its uh, previous state, which doesn't have that um, dark color anymore. Alright, so we can, next we're going to uh, take our brush right here and i'm gonna just zoom in on the face i mostly do um this technique on the face but you can definitely apply it to everything else um trees backgrounds dresses skin hair um yep yeah, but it works the best on the face all right so we're gonna get our brush a little bit smaller and the hardness is on zero and we're gonna choose uh the soft rounded brush Alright, so a little bit smaller maybe? Yeah, this is perfect. So as you can see, I'm applying this right now and it's darkening only those places where you apply your brush. Isn't it awesome? It is. Alright, so we're going to do it just like you would do applying makeup, like you apply your bronzer, okay? You're going to um, contour the nose, you're going to contour the cheeks. To make those cheekbones a little bit more prominent, all right. You're gonna contour around your jawline. Uh, we're gonna do the same just around the lips. It's gonna make them look a little bit plumper, and just gonna kind of uh, show all the little um, details on it. All right. So uh, on the eyes, I usually go up on the lash line and the lower lash line so yeah uh, I'm just gonna choose a smaller brush to go on the lower lash line right over here okay if you feel like you messed up you can always take your eraser and erase those places where um, you put a maybe too much or you just messed up it happens all the time to me I'm 
yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to do the same thing now to the hair, just where it's darker. Like just in these spots. Um, so yeah, let's continue. I'm going to do the same on the dress. And again, when you just see the shadows fall naturally, you just kind of accentuate that. Alright, just a little bit on the dress, a little bit over here, just to kind of show off her shoulders. Alright, so here I'm done with the shadows, and if you click off this little eye right here, you can, as I said, see your progress, okay? So... I like it, so I'm going to merge the layers and you pretty much hold the control tab, you click on both of these layers and then with the right clicking, you're going to merge the layers, alright? Okay. So we're going to do the same exact process, but we're going to just slide it up. So again, we start with duplicating layer, pressing OK, go to image, adjustments, curves. Now we're going to be working with the middle part of the curve and we're going to be dragging it up. Okay, this is quite enough. I'm going to press again this button to create the mask layer. I'm going to uh, again click Ctrl I. Alright, I'm going to zoom in on her face. I'm going to pick up my brush again. And here what I usually do is I highlight underneath the eye. I highlight the bridge of the nose and again this is very very similar to when you do makeup this is the things that you do I highlight a little bit on the lip I'm gonna highlight the irises to make them pop uh, I'm gonna highlight the inner corner right here and just a little bit on the lid right there okay so the face is done with highlighting and again Look how much difference it makes, and just a little step, but it makes the whole picture pop and makes it look more 3D. I'm going to do the same thing on the hair, right here, and just a little bit on the dress, just to highlight a little bit. Alright, and then let's see the progress. I love it. Okay, so we're going to again merge the layers. And... You can go as dramatic as you want on this. It's up to you. I'm going to just quickly add another layer of, of shadows because I like it dramatic. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Okay, so this is it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was not too hard. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm explaining it properly. Let me know if you are confused in any time of the point and I will try to make it more clear next time. Uh, here I have the picture, bef the before picture. So you can see the difference of what just shadowing and highlighting makes. Uh, a lot of people often think that I'm like liquefying their face to make it um, smaller or narrower or make them eyes bigger and lips bigger but really it this is just shadowing and you can see how much difference it makes it just it's crazy um, just like makeup does so yeah I hope you guys liked my tutorial and like my little kitty where are you looking? <laughs> And yeah, subscribe to this channel, uh, check out the links below, and I'm going to be making more videos soon. <laughs> okay, he really hates me. <laughs> Alright, bye!